Live! Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live AMA where we answer your reverse engineering questions. If you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. Lots more reverse engineering content there. With that, let's get into it. There's one question that happened in the chat that I can very quickly answer. So some, and I want to do it real quick. So somebody asked, do people slash organizations actually pay ransoms? If not, who's actually paying Bitcoins? And in most cases, do they ever recover their data? So yes, not all of them, but some of them pay. And yes, they pay in Bitcoins. And yes, they get their data back because these threat actors want to be reliable so that in the future, more people pay them. They have actually pretty good customer service. There's been several yeah. write-ups over the years of like the actual responsiveness of some of the threat right. actors and like full-time ticketing systems, like yes. because it's just a business <laughs> for them. And yep. they're surprisingly good at some of the more boring, mundane aspects of running a software company, which is hilarious, but. They will definitely help you. Some of them. Some of them will definitely help yeah. you decrypt your files. And then they you ransom start. you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will do that too. Yeah. But and like the ones that them... actually help you will crack down on the other ones because they're giving them a bad reputation because they want people to like know that if they pay, they're going to get it like because if if the odds are 50 50, if you pay if you get your files back or not, well, you're you're not going to pay then, right? You're just yeah. going to like figure out some other way of doing it. So like they want to have a very high recovery rate. Which is it depends on the threat actors. <laughs> some are like yeah. just writing like they are pretending to be one of those high prolific um, mm. threat actors that are always reliable. And then uh, they are just some other. Of course, you, you, you have to take with a grain of salt. You have to take it with a grain of salt. It's an ecosystem. If somebody thinks that they can make a ton of money off you by bullshitting you, then like it, it's complicated. It's people. But on average, I would say, yeah, many pay I, and many get their data back. There is a. Uh, we, we've talked about this a lot before on stream, and uh, and I think in the new year. Fingers crossed, guys, we're going to have Fabian on, who is like the number one ransomware hunter. <laughs> one of the number one ransomware hunters, literally cracking ransomware for a living. Uh, so I think we'll have him on and we'll talk a bit more about this. Nice. Um, but in my, uh, in my evil plotting, I often thought that if we really wanted to stop ransomware, Things like sanctions and you know making it illegal to pay the ransom and stuff really isn't the right way to do it. The right way to do it would be to set up an operation where you just use a wiper and you literally just wipe people's files all over the place. You know maybe not all of them, but a lot of them under different ransomware names and completely destroy the reputation of those groups so that nobody will ever pay a ransom in the future. Now this is, nobody should do this. Everybody listen to this. God it's damn it, nice do not rope, get me arrested. Black hat approach. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if it's you really, really want It's wanted... a really good game theory way of doing it, right? Yeah. yeah make, it, you... make it not economically viable. Yeah. They all, they <laughs> all it subsist off their reputation. It's clear that the reputation is really important to them. And if you really wanted to go hard, you got to destroy their reputation. Um, people will find a way around the sanctions. People will pay because they're desperate. But if they think that if they even if they pay, they're not going to get the files back. You could uh, you could definitely fuck them up. Good. Don't do it. I prefer not to go hard <laughs> against organizations that are closely associated with with criminals and uh, people who will do far worse than just encrypt my files. You're saying some of these uh, organized well, crime groups have like, you know, other other illegal things they're doing that I don't yeah. want coming into my house. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I mean, the, there's been good attacks on the reputation by linking them to like Russian state actors and stuff like that. Like all of that helps in convincing companies not to pay them. But, you know, at the end of the day, people are still desperate. They'll still they'll still pay. Um, I mean, many of these ransomware groups, they present themselves as independent security auditors. And, and like, I'm not sure how serious they take this, but sometimes it seems like they take this very serious. And maybe a more white hat approach to solving ransomware would be to just do proper backups. Just <laughs> make it, make that, make yeah. it just yeah. either like either start a company that helps other companies who can't do it to do that or like i don't know i'm i'm not in the business of making backups but really ransomware is is trivial to battle it's 
That's why they do the data exfiltration. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they that is, also, that is more tricky. Uh, there's also other things you can do with that. Backups are not foolproof. Like that's not. No, guaranteed. no, no. Let's not. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, I, I'm on stream <laughs> with a bunch of experts. I'm gonna get ripped apart by this. Yes, it's <laughs> it's, it's it's tricky. It's tricky. I will I will yield. I, I, but like you're not wrong though. The vast majority would be. You know, yeah, are, are heavily mitigated by a good backup plan. And I know, I know several organizations that have been hit by ransomware, and by the second time, they finally got their. It took them, took them two or three times, but they finally got their act together, and now they have really good multi-level on-site and off-site backups. Right. So yeah. Yeah. One thing I think key. the ransomware actors uh, could do better in their ransom notes is not everyone should start with just what's happened, and that's it. <laughs> Because <laughs> we all know that over every English ransomware note ever made. <laughs> yep. Very Good true. IOC. So that wraps it up. Big thanks to our panel of experts. You can go check out their socials here. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see more reverse engineering content like this, in-depth tutorials, live streams, your questions answered, go check out our Patreon. Lots more stuff like that there. And stay tuned for the next question.